Hi, today I want to show you how to work with some fonts in Cricut Design Space, but not just using the fonts as the letters, but possibly as shapes and designs. Um, so to begin, working in Design Space, you may click on the text and you'll notice under fonts. When we do that, we get this box that pops up. And we have all fonts, system fonts, and Cricut fonts. System fonts are the fonts that are loaded onto your computer. Those are the fonts that you own. Cricut fonts are the fonts that Cricut supplies and are available for purchase. If you notice, um, as you scroll down under Cricut, you will see that some of them have prices attached to it, and that means that you would be paying if you use that font. So I'm going to go to the system fonts that are loaded on my computer and the ones that I'm going to work with. I know the name of the font that I'm looking for, so I don't need to scroll and wait for um, the lag time for the fonts to load. Um, the font I'm looking for today is going to be called Frames. So I'll type that in and I'll also provide a link in the comments so that you can get this font for free. Then you just begin typing and it will give you the shapes that are available and associated with those letters. I'm going to work with the oval today, which is the B. And so there we have an oval. I can change it to whatever size I want and have an oval frame. I could make this image in design space but this is so much quicker to have the font loaded and have the shape ready to cut. So now if I go to make it, you'll see that it actually cuts the entire inner and outer part of the oval frame. This opens up a whole new area for us for images. So if you go and look in your system fonts and you find a font that's based on images instead of letters, you'll have those shapes to cut as well. In this example, I'm going to choose one of the shapes here that's an animal head. Um, in this case, I think I'm using the C. Yeah, so I'm going to choose the C and enlarge it. And then when I go to cut this out, I will have that shape. I can't change the colors, it's all one flat color at this time, but I do have a shape here that I can cut out. This is a different way to work with fonts, using your fonts as shapes. I wanted to show you how you could find um, image fonts into font. What we're looking at here is dingbats. Dingbats are ornamental or decorative fonts. So choosing, I'm just going to go to basic shapes. And the first one you're going to see here, it's really nice, is a laurel shape at the top. Um, and you'll notice there's a variety there and it's also listed as free. You can click download, install it onto your computer and then you'd have that accessible through your system fonts. Um, there's also these arrow crafter. Um, once you click on the name of the font, it's going to pop up and show you what's available and associated with each letter. So in this case with the arrow, you're going to create your arrows by creating the head, the end of the arrow, and then the line in between. And so you can see what's available here with the font before you download it and install it. Once again, you'll see that this is a free font. Going back to the list, you'll see that there's a lot of other options available, and all of these then would be shapes that you could choose to cut out as a font, but it would be a decorative shape instead of a letter. Hope you find this helpful and useful and that it opens up a whole new um, way for you to work with your fonts.